let's look into the next topic, heat stroke. Heat stroke is caused by a failure of the thermostat in the brain which regulates the body temperature. If someone has a high fever or has been exposed to heat for a long time, then their body can become dangerously overheated. When someone gets too dehydrated, they stop sweating, which means their body can't cool down anymore. So, they develop heat stroke. How can we identify heat stroke? Check the victim for the following. Headaches and dizziness and discomfort. Confusion and restlessness. Hot, flushed and dry skin. Fast deterioration in the level of response. A full bounding pulse. Body temperature above 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. Now let's see how to help a heat stroke victim. 1. Quickly move them to a cool place and remove their outer clothing, but ensure you maintain their dignity. 2. Call for emergency medical assistance. 3. Wrap them in a cold wet sheet and keep pouring cold water over it until their temperature falls to at least 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degree Fahrenheit. Measure this with a thermometer under their tongue or under their armpit. 4. If you can't find a sheet, fan them or sponge them down with cold water to keep them cool. Once their temperature seems to have gone back to normal, replace the wet sheet with a dry sheet. While waiting for help to arrive, keep checking their temperature as well as their breathing, pulse and level of response. If they start getting hot again, repeat the cooling process to lower their temperature. If they lose responsiveness, start CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Identify from below two symptoms of heat stroke. Now let's look into the next topic.